up? I literally just got here, dude. You said text me when you get here, I just pulled up. Dude, I'm feeling fresh as a daisy right now. Ready to rip. Ready for the weekend? Yeah, I got a new seat pad on the bike. Looking good, feeling good. Seat pad's a few tenths, right? Oh, dude, that's easily a second and a half. Just a little seat pad, dude. I let my arms go now. Lean back into that bitch. You know, like you tell me, roll your hips forward on the motorbike, I rope, I'd be rolling my hips the other way on the road race bike, so that's why I did yeah. that. Last week, I was doing some stupid shit the whole time as well. And the end of the video was just like a blooper reel. I said a lot of stupid shit that did not age very well. And then I wound up getting my smoked all weekend, so. I'm gonna limit the stupid shit before I ride. And then after, if I do well, then, then the stupid shit will come back, don't worry. It's just, before I ride, I, can, I can't be getting, getting done over like that again, you know? We'll have all these, all these uh, great sentences that I say until I get beat. And then it sounds like I'm an idiot because I got beat, you know? I think you're doing this. Also, I see you got my Supreme Bucket hat on that I was trying to steal. Dude, I've been in here just cleaning my leathers from the last race for like the past 30 minutes. And they're still not like they're still not white. They're uh, <laughs> they're a little little dusty, dude. Like we got battle scars on these bitches. My ass. Dustin from Fast Ass Media, he got me sliding across my ass behind Matthew Skoltz. Okay. <laughs> Came in like a wrecking ball on that one. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, ready to go for FP1. Just out watching Super Sport, watching them boys. Trying to get re uh, get my mind into it out here in Virginia. I haven't been here since 17, so that's what? Five years. So, yeah, I mean, just looking forward to getting out there, get a feel for the track, hold that Suzuki watch and open, and see what happens. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Healthy, happy, ready to ride. So ain't much to do now. Just sit here, get ready, start getting kitted up actually pretty soon. It's 20 past 10. We're out in like 50 minutes. So um, might go watch a lap or two of Superbike and then get kitted up, get ready to go out and see where we're at. Recovery time in the pool, doing some studying, watching today's practice and qualifying. We need to find some time, baby. He struggles. It's not good. I'm getting beat by Bobier. You're Ian's boy, Bobier. Smoking me. Big time. <laughs> it's not good. But nah, we had a, a lot better Q1 today than uh, first practice. We closed the gap by two seconds, so. Still got more time to find, but we'll figure it out. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring the bike out. The bike's figuring me out. It's all right. We're gonna be good. We'll be fine. I'm not stressing really yet. I know, like, I probably should be stressing a little bit because, like, we're two, just over two seconds off. But dude, these bugs out here are gnarly. Yeah, we're like just over two seconds off, so like I should probably be a little bit stressing, but. I don't know. I think we're gonna find some a big chunk of time in the morning in Q2, and then we're gonna go out in the race and try and latch on to like the front seven or eight guys and stay there as long as I can. Hopefully pass a couple of them and see where we're at. Try try and get up on the the top of row three, bottom of row two, and, and qualifying tomorrow and hope for the best. Close my eyes for a Q lap and then go out in the race and do what I do best, which is race. So. Yeah, that's where we're at. Me, dude, I keep getting bit by these little bugs. Here we go. Keep fucking biting too, dude. They sting and it hurts so bad. I got one on my leg. Oh my god, dude, my leg is stinging. My ass is stinging now. You don't want them little to get you because they actually kind of sting. I don't think I wore them at the last time. I was like, for sure that would be my good luck this weekend. Wearing duckies and. I don't know. It's not working out too well for me so far, so 
I'm gonna throw them out, I think. Might be time to grow up and get rid of the duckies, dude. Might be time. I mean, it's been a couple of years, so the luck might have worn off. I need to find some, some other new lucky thing. And it ain't the duckies, so I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss for words at the moment. I need to make big changes. Big, 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 big changes. Almost like in this qualifying session, making big, big, big changes. Big changes. <laughs> so much faster today, it's not even funny. Because I bet these boys are going to go even faster today. It's a little bit colder, so I'm going to need to find like two seconds again this morning. Yeah. Which is a lot, but mama didn't raise no boy. Yesterday I was looking up like times from Atlanta. First practice in Atlanta, I was 4.3 seconds off. First qualifier, I was 3.5. Qualifier was 2.1, so if I was 2.5 off yesterday, going by my my amazing math skills, I should be 1.1 off today in Q2. But that's just because I'm really good at math and I learned how to subtract, so that's what I'm thinking. But if it's not that, it better be that. <laughs> you gotta get within a second of these guys for sure. Then then they'll start shitting themselves for real, you know. Right now, they just think like, oh, this guy might be good at some point. But as soon as I crack the code, they're going to be, uh-oh. You know? It's coming. It's just taking a little longer than I anticipated. Like, I thought for sure I would just hop on the thing and be fast. And that's been a bit of a learning process for sure. So I got to change my style a little bit. And then we'll be back to the front. It's just stupid little things that you don't really think about when you're out there because you're trying so hard and you just fall into your old like habits and routines and shit when you're on the track and you're just pushing so it's nice to come back in and like have some people to talk to and think about it a little bit and then hopefully go back out and fix some stuff so that's the plan for today work on me a little bit more than the bike and see where we're at after q2 and then hold this wide open in the race and hope for the best i'm really good at that so game plan. Yeah. solid day I mean solid like better than it's normally been going but um, yeah we finished seventh in stock won the superbike cup didn't get lapped in superbikes so that's positive but we got a big step to make and and we got a chunk of time to find and I sat and spoke with Mike Himmelsbach and a couple of the guys tonight and just trying to wrap my head around the 1000 trying to understand why I'm riding the way I'm riding and what I'm doing and um, 
I have a good idea. It's just like actually implementing it. So um, yeah, it's just getting my head around the 1000 and try and figure out the riding style and figure out the bike style. And once it once it clicks, I have no doubt that I'll be at the front. But it's uh, a lot different than anything I'm used to. So um, I didn't expect the learning process to be this long, but it is what it is. It's going to take however long it takes. And I'm not going to give up till we figure it out. And, and once we figure it out, we'll be all smiles again. So just keep, keep pushing this and see where we can get to tomorrow. Our race be starting in like 55 minutes. I guess I can hit it, I think. No, I was just talking to TJ for like a couple minutes after I got off the phone with you, and he was like, dude, what are you doing? Figure it out, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm trying. It's not like I'm not trying to figure it out. How about thanks for the advice, PJ, bro. No he said, he said, try harder? Yeah, he said, figure it out. I was like, thanks. I'm trying. You know, that would be f nice if you would just fucking figure it out. <laughs> so long. <laughs> it would be nice if I just figure it out. Too right. I think we're, we're going to go better in this race for sure, but it is a bit late in the weekend now for me to just figure it out. It's better to figure it out late than never. When it was good, I um, got down on my race pace from yesterday with the used tire. So it's not bad. Uh, that's about where I expected to be. Honestly, I thought I was going to be able to go a little bit quicker this morning. And um, yeah, I want to get hung up with some lappers. And usually I've been the lapper so far this year, but I got hung up with some, some slower riders and didn't quite get to get a lap in that I would that I was happy with and we were still I did four or five of the same uh, lap times that was my fastest of the race yesterday with a used tire this morning so positive for sure but I wanted to I wanted to dip into the 27s this morning and, and we were close but I just didn't didn't get a good lap didn't get one full good lap in so yeah 27s in the race is ideal try and get with like your boy Bobier. That's for me. That's <clears throat> kind of who's got their target, the target on the back. Huh? Yeah, he, he's the the next guy that I'm like kind of chasing him and Debrino. So if I can get with them guys in the race and kind of stay there, fight with them, and and learn something from them guys, because they all have a lot more experience than me. And yeah, I, I need to at least be with them and kind of learn from them and see what they're doing differently and what I can work on. So it's hard, like. We don't get a whole lot of time on the weekend and we've not really done much testing. So coming out here and just laying down a fast lap is a bit like just holding your breath the whole time, hoping for the best. But yeah, now I feel a lot more comfortable on the bike. It feels more mine. So let's go push this bitch and see how far we can go, how fast we can go and whatever. If we lay it down, we lay it down. I don't care. officially back from VIR. Um, I have to film this uh, end of weekend clip on my iPhone because Ian somehow lost the clip that we filmed at the end of the weekend. But um, yeah, day three at VIR, which was super bike race two, super stock race two, was a lot better for us than it was uh, on Saturday. And yeah, I think I finished maybe sixth in the stock class and 
I don't know where I come in Superbike Cup, but I finished like 14th or 15th or 16th overall in Superbike. And yeah, it was definitely an improvement for me. Uh, the lap time came down, the feeling got better. So um, yeah, everything's a positive. We're looking forward to uh, getting to Road America this upcoming weekend and getting to work. Super happy with how everything's been going with the team. Not quite so happy with our results, but we're making improvements, baby steps. I didn't think it was going to be so hard to ride this 1000, but it's really, uh, it's been, it's been difficult for me to change my riding style and I'm figuring it out little by little, but I kind of need to make that change now. And I'm looking for two good results or I don't even know if we have one or two races at Road America, but looking for good results this weekend at Road America. I, I need it, need to boost my confidence again, get back in the game and, uh, get towards the front. So see you guys at Road America and, uh, thanks Ian for losing this clip and uh making these vlogs i appreciate you and big shout out to the classic car club in manhattan luxar vip evolve gt track days um the whole altus motorsports fly racing wps suzuki team for all their hard work my crew chief eric george the the team owner and just everybody else that helps us out i appreciate that so i will uh yeah i'll keep charging keep pushing and see what we can do with this next couple of races here